This is just kind of a temporary uh, setup. I'm going to set the solar panels on the ground and then uh, just put the, the pump down and put the pipe through the top cap of the well casing just so I could get it in and get it pumping. set up the solar panels so I can see if they're putting out the right voltage. documents say that you could temporarily set them up on pallets until you get a stand. Okay, so you're going to need some clippers to clip zip ties, and then uh, the two Y connectors. There's one for positive and one for negative, and it has a negative and a positive that are labeled. So you plug two panels into the positive and two panels into the negative, I guess this end. <laughs> These are zip tied together underneath here, so we're just going to clip the zip tie to release the wires. Positive is the male and negative is the female. So I'm just going to put these back, expose the wires. These ones I will do positive. Okay, I got it figured out. So this panel will plug into that panel and on that end we'll have negative and on this end we'll have positive. So, and then this panel will plug into that panel, and then each end will plug into the Y because they're connected in parallel to this positive one. Good. And then, shut those in there. I need this one to plug into this Y. And the same thing on this side. Positive plugs into this negative, and this goes out right here. Plug into here. And that should be it for that. These are the two negative ends. Plug into this Y connector. Make sure they click so the O-rings engage. Out right there. Not sure if I'll get optimal voltage like this without the correct angle so so you should be 24 volts 43.9 volts okay i'm going to put uh some farm fence around this because uh i don't want any kids walking on it or anyone to step on them or the goat or dog to step on them they're pretty strong and they can withstand a little bit of impact but to be safe i'm just going to put it up
the control box up on one of these posts. I'm going to put this control box on this 2x4. It doesn't quite fit, but I think it's just going to be temporary for now. I'm just going to hook it up right now and get it mounted later. Blue is positive. So I'm going to use this because I didn't bring a screwdriver. So. go to the solar panels. Then I'm going to stretch this out and measure it for how far I need. Well set up is 133 feet and I want it uh, 5 or 6 feet from the bottom. The pump could go 80 feet below water which the water level is 122 I believe. I'm going to put it 80 feet below the water, but I want to keep all this wire oiled up just in case I need to lower it. So I'm going to measure out like 122 feet. I'm going to apply this heat shrink on there. I don't have a heat gun, so... Oh my gosh. I knew that was a bad idea. That was the side that came that way. Alright, it looks like I have to squeeze all these ones. Even the sides that came that way, they're not completely tight. Thank you, RPS. That would be good enough. It's going to be supported by a rope.
might have got it a little too hot in some areas, but it should be all right. I wrap it in tape, add extra support. There you have it. Lock connection made. I'm gonna hook this up and then get some water in the bucket and make sure the pump works. Probably should have done that before I sealed this connection up. Got a bucket full of water here with the pump in it. There's no pipe hooked up, no rope hooked up. It's just hooked up to the controller, and the controller is ready to be hooked up to the solar panels. And I want to check and make sure it works before I drop it 90 feet down into this hole. I have to pull it out again. But um, hopefully it works because I already heat shrink the wires. So here we go, let's see. like it's spraying water out. I shut it off, but um, I got worried because it didn't shut off right away, but I guess it takes time for it to spin down, but at least it works. That's a plus because I already sh heat shrink wrapped the wire, so. See? There are the lights on the panel. Now I'm going to take my pipe. I got three quarter inch black poly and I got three of it, but I'm going to stretch it out 90 feet because it's going to go 90 feet down in the well. That's 13 feet of air and then 80, 80 feet of water because this pump is rated to go 80 feet below the water surface. Now I'm going to screw in this uh, male thread. I'm going to stretch this out, tape the wires to it, put the sensors on it, but I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take a while. And my camera's dead. i got to charge it up. Okay, I got the poly pipe run, the wire run, the sensor wire run, the rope run. It's all taped off at every five feet, and then it's tied at every five feet. So I'll give you a show of what it looks like. Start of the pump. There's an inline bowling with a half hitch safety, and then it's double uh, two of these cramps, and then it has the high and low sensor, or the common and the low sensor, and then it's uh, black electrical taped and zip tied, alternating every five feet all the way for 90, 93 feet. That'll put it 80 feet below the water, but I kept all the pipe and all the wire up to 130 feet, so I could drop it down to 125 feet. 
if I needed to. Stretch the rest of this black poly to the pond, and I'm going to cut it. Okay, the pump is down the well. The pipe is running the cut. Now I'm just going to hook up everything else and uh, I'll show you how it looks after. I'm going to put a hole in the cap, run the pipe and the wire through, set the control box over there, and then uh, turn it on. Everything's hooked up. Now I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we're going to turn it on and see if it works. control box is going to be mounted to this 2x4 post when I get some new screws that will fit in the back. Um, that is temporary, I have a well cap, but I don't, I want to get it running to fill up my pond, and then I'll worry about digging down and doing the rest of the stuff, so I have that on temporary. I'll probably put some tape over this. It's 90 feet down, 80 feet in the water, and the pipe runs to the pond. Got my solar panels, it's hooked up, it's just turned off. Got my post and my fence, so let's turn it on. It's got lights, lights are on, flipping the switch. Don't hear anything, but it's pretty quiet because it's 12 volts. Let's go follow the pipe to my extremely low pond. Has catfish in there perch in there, crawfish, and minnows. I hear it. I hear the water. Look, here it comes. It's flowing. That's supposed to be, that, that's max flow rate right there. I don't know what it's pumping out at. I think the max the pump could do is 7 to 8. My well could do 12 to 15. All right, I checked it with a five-gallon bucket. I did it twice. I timed it. Let's see how full it, how long it took took to get full, and we're getting about five gallons per minute, a little bit less, which isn't that great. It was supposed to be seven to eight gallons per minute with this pump. However, I do have the solar panels laid horizontally on the ground. I think if I get them up in the air not covered in grass pieces at the proper angle facing south. It'll probably put out maximum uh, water output. Thanks for watching. Uh, the water's kind of salty, but it's been probably like three weeks since I drilled the well. So I think after it runs for a little bit, it'll freshen up. The end.